In today's video, we're taking a look at another map mod that just makes GTA 5 so much better. And as you can see, we're driving this brand new R8, which I'm super hyped is coming to GTA Online in just a few short days. But yeah, today we're going to be taking a look at a new and improved version of the Malibu Mansion. Now, this is one of the most popular mansions in GTA 5. It's one of the best mods you could download for your personal house. And I've had it for a long time. But now it's got some upgrades, as you guys can see. Right when you enter the house, we got this big gazebo type of thing, I guess, right over top here. And then when we drive down, you're going to notice we got fences going all the way down the side of the house. We also have steps that have lighting on them, which looks pretty cool. We got some more fences on that side, and there's a bunch of other awesome stuff that was added to this mansion just to make it look a little bit nicer. You can see there is also a couple more trees and stuff to make it a little more private, I guess. The basketball court is still the same chilling up there, but the first thing you'll notice is once you arrive at your garage, things change a bit. I believe the colorway of the entire garage changed, the garage doors changed, and it's also just one full garage now. There's no barriers separating it, because before, the room over there where this garage door is, it used to be kind of like a separate garage in a way. There used to be a wall extending all the way out here, and then you could fit your other cars over here. We also got a beautiful picture from Fast and Furious up on the wall right there. Anyways, let's go take a look around. Now, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I feel like the stones on the ground have changed as well. Kind of like the look of it, not gonna lie. So we make our way to the front of the house, and as you're gonna see right when we turn left, we actually got a whole walkway going straight to the backyard. I believe in the older version of the Malibu Mansion, we didn't have this. And we, of course, have some more luminous lighting right there. But anyways, let's take a look inside the house and see what else has changed in here. So as I'm walking through the house, everything honestly looks pretty much the same. Actually, maybe not. Never mind. We got sliding doors now, which I have to say is a great touch. This place looks a little different, and I have to say it looks a lot nicer. We have a freaking slide right here. That is sick. This mansion actually looks so much nicer, and I really like how all of the tiles are kind of like mirrors. This looks sick when you just turn your camera view. Look how amazing this mansion looks now. I'm pretty sure the tiles throughout the entire house have just changed, and I have to say, it looks really nice. Nothing too crazy here from what I could see. As we move into, like, the media room and the bar room, it looks pretty much the same, I think. Think. I'm not sure if this couch wrapped around completely before. This might be a little bit new. A couple modifications. I think they added a piano. Not too sure, but I have to say, it is looking beautiful. Let's take a look over here. Before there used to be a McDonald's right here, is there still a McDonald's? Yes, there is, but it has a sliding door now. That is awesome. Beautiful looking McDonald's that for some reason is selling Starbucks now. That makes sense. Is this a fish tank? That is a fish tank, but there's no fish in the fish tank. Let's take a trip down here, see if there's anything different over here. I don't even think I looked back here last time. It's kind of cool, a little place for the housekeepers to go or something. One thing I'm not a huge fan of, uh, my view is kind of obstructed by this fence, but I guess that kind of makes sense because it looks like there's a little putting green right here. So I guess it makes sense to have a little gate up because, you know, we don't want the balls to break the windows. Let's go take a quick trip upstairs to see if anything has changed up there before we head outside. The stairs are still nice and luminous as usual. What do we got over here? This is the recording studio with these sliding doors. Looks exactly the same, I'm not going to lie, but the sliding doors are a nice touch. I really, really like that. This is the only door that I've seen that does not slide. And of course, this probably, yeah, it enters right into the recording studio. Still looks good, though. Still looks good. More sliding doors into our conference room. Oh, oh. I, this has definitely gotten some changes, I think. This looks really nice. It feels a little bit cluttered, but it still looks pretty damn nice. I'm not going to lie. This is, this is pretty clean. Let's walk on over here. What do we got in this room? This is our little gym, I guess. I mean, still looks pretty much the same. Don't know why there's just a random picture of a girl on the wall, but all right. What do we got down here? What's in this room? I completely forgot, to be honest. Spare bedroom, nothing too crazy. In this room, I'm assuming it's another spare bedroom. Yep, and it's pretty much the exact same. Nice. At least the pictures on the wall are different here. I remember there was some random picture of some scary lady on there. Did not like that, but now we're all good. I'm pretty sure it was Billie Eilish. Not 100% sure, though. Smaller spare bedroom, no changes there. And I believe this right here is the master suite. So let's take a look. Okay, yeah, there's definitely been some changes in here. I remember there was a TV and a fireplace right where I am standing, and it went up to the ceiling. I don't believe our closet was here last time. 
and it looks nice. This is Franklin's closet, I believe. I'm pretty sure it is, at least. I do like how we got, like, a mannequin standing there with the outfit on as well. That looks awesome. Oh, we got two more over there as well. This place is looking clean. We got the TV up on the wall there, and we enter in here to our beautiful bathroom with a freaking bed where we can get a massage. We got a nice bathtub with water in it. In most of these houses, you don't normally see a bathtub with water in it. That is a nice touch. That is a really nice touch. And in here should be our private toilet. It is. And wow. Okay. I mean, I guess it's it's cool. But before, there used to be an exit right here where I could just walk straight out onto my patio uh, from my private shitter. I kind of liked that touch. I liked it. But you know what? I guess, I, I guess it's nice. I could just watch TV. But, you know... I don't know. There was something about having that sliding door just walking out onto my patio. Being able to just chill after taking a shit. It was nice. It was. It was really nice. But it looks like the patio was actually changed a little bit as well. So yeah, let's go take a look outside. We'll start on the bottom floor because I believe a lot has changed on the outside. So right over here, we got a golf ball on the tee. We got a little bunker right here. And then of course, we have the flag. I would honestly love to have something like this in my house one day. That would be pretty sick. So right over here, little patio believe this was here before, but it's definitely different. It's not the same anymore. I know that for sure. Everything just looks more proper, I guess. That's the only word I could think. Before, it was really nice, but now it's beautiful. Like, it's absolutely stunning. I love it. Uh, is there anything on the main floor patio that has changed, I guess? Let's see. I think that's a little different right there. That wasn't there before. We got the patio down there, and I believe the entrance is a bit different there now as well. Kind of liking it, I'm not going to lie. This is looking awesome. And look, oh, we have a dock now. Before, we did not have a dock. I had to build my own dock, and now you could dock your boats up. Yeah, the patio's looking nice. It's looking pretty clean. It definitely looks a lot better than it did before. All right, let's see what we got down here. One of my favorite parts about this mansion was this little bridge that we could just walk straight over. And we do have some changes. We got a nice bar right here, so when we do have a party, people can get hella lit. This place is looking proper. Over here, we got... Pretty much the same shit, it just looks like there was more, like, vegetation added, I guess. Let's go ahead and walk over here. We got a jet ski right there. And then down over here, before there really wasn't anything down here. It kind of just ended right here, but now... Looks like we got something over here. Let's go take a look, shall we? Well, 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 would you look at that? We got a beautiful helipad. I remember I built a helipad in my last Malibu mansion, and I pretty much just spawned in... A helipad that was already in the game. This guy actually customized it. And everything matches up with the mansion as well. It looks absolutely stunning. Props to the creator of Malibu Mansion. And props to the creator who modified the Malibu Mansion. Because it looks absolutely stunning now. Now let's go take a look at the upstairs and see if anything has changed. So before I remember, the patio on the top floor wrapped around the entire mansion. So let's see if that's different. We walk over here. A little bit more privacy here now on this little area where we could chill. I do like that. The walls and the windows look really, really cool. As we walk over here, everything still looks the same up until we get to right here. And I believe they added some wood boards for a little bit of a design element. Looks pretty cool. We walk through this door. We got another hot tub. And then it looks like we just got some places to chill with more privacy. Privacy is key at this point in life. You get a mansion like this, you're going to want a bit of privacy. And it looks great, I'm not gonna lie. It looks amazing. Let's walk... Oh, that hurt. Okay. So yeah, before, this is where the shitter was. Look. So they actually didn't remove the doors. The doors are still here. This is exactly where I would walk out from my private bathroom onto the patio. But none of this was here before. So they added benches. I guess these are dividers for COVID or something. Or they just didn't want to remove the doors. Don't know. But they added a little river, I guess, going around here, which actually looks really, really nice. This is such a nice touch. That looks beautiful. It really does. We take a walk over here, and it looks like these are the stairs to enter from the first floor. And of course, the patio does fully wrap around the entire mansion. It looks amazing. What is this right here? Is this a diving area? We could just jump right off the top. This is, uh, this is definitely new. This is pretty awesome. I like that as well. We got some nice beds where you could just lay down. We got the telescope. And I believe this wasn't here either. I, I don't remember. I don't believe this was here before. But this mansion is looking a lot nicer than before. Let's just dive into the water because I kind of want to... Uh, or just fall. That, oh, wow! The pool is a lot deeper. But um, the water is a little bit glitched. But it looks sick. 
this pool was not that deep before. I swear it was not this deep. And now one thing I do want to show you guys is what this mansion looks like at nighttime now. So let's go ahead and change the time all the way. And take a look at this. Take a look at all of the freaking lighting. This looks stunning. Now this mansion before did have some lighting. And one thing I really like is how you could see directly into the mansion at nighttime as well. You could see all the rooms. All the lights inside the house turn on. You could see everything inside as long as the curtains aren't closed. But look at this. Look how beautiful this looks. Why is there a seagull inside of my garage? But man, oh man, look at how beautiful this place looks. Take a look at the steps that you could take to exit if you wanted to. Absolutely stunning mansion. Let's go into uh, no clip mode here. Look at this, guys. Look at the lighting. This mansion has been drastically improved. You can see completely inside of it. Obviously, you go far away. Some stuff's not going to spawn in. But then as you get closer, you can see into every single room in the entire house. It looks absolutely beautiful. Truly amazing job at recreating this mansion in GTA 5. I think it looks phenomenal. That is pretty much going to wrap the video up. I'm going to leave the links down below to the Malibu Mansion and the Malibu Mansion remastered i guess they're two separate mods that you have to install super simple just follow the instructions in the readmes but anyways that is pretty much going to wrap the video up for today thank you guys for watching i hope you went on to enjoy it and who knows maybe we'll see something like this in gta 6 but with that said thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video